Hello everybody, it's Nikki here. I want to invite you to a free training webinar I'm doing this Thursday at one o'clock British summer time on storytelling. If you can't make it live, don't worry. You can sign up anyway and you can listen afterwards. There'll be a recording and there'll be a special offer for an online course that um, I'll be launching um, if you watch it before midnight that night. So what's the webinar about? I hear you asking. Well, it's about storytelling to help you sell more of your creative work or get the kind of work that you long to get. Why storytelling? Well, I believe that storytelling is the number one skill that all creative people need to learn if they wanna be in charge of their own destiny and their own career. It's stories that are compelling ways to market yourself. We all love to hear a good story, don't we? But often we don't love people just to push their work onto us. So by learning the meaningful art of storytelling, what you'll learn is how to attract people towards you and to help them understand a little bit more about what your work's about, what you stand for, what your philosophy is, and why you're different to other people who do similar work to you. They help you stand out. And this is just vital if you want to attract the kind of work that you love or get people to buy your work from you. And we'll be talking about this on Thursday, a little bit more about why stories are important, why having a brand story is a really, really important part of developing stories and how stories can help you get into the press, get into the media, and help you keep your profile um, out there and, and to build a following. So let me tell you a little bit about my story. So I, I'm a creative person and like many creative people, my background was doing lots of different things. And then I got stuck into a rut because I needed to pay a very, very expensive London mortgage. So I, I ended up doing a lot of corporate work. I did a lot of training in the corporate world, which was very interesting. But my creative heart was so stifled doing that work for, for those years. Um, my bank balance was good, but you know, I was creatively stifled. So what I did was I decided that I needed to shift my career. And I thought the only way I'm gonna have a fulfilling life is to start doing my own work and actually promote myself directly. Um, and that meant I needed to market myself. So I set up Nikki Moran Coaching seven years ago and started coaching creative people and creative products for, for that community who I love. And I started marketing myself. But what I noticed was I had so much resistance around marketing myself. I hated it because I felt I was being pushy, glory seeking, and I felt self-conscious. But I did it anyway. Because what I noticed was when I was willing to put my work out there, guess what? I attracted people who wanted to buy my work and my services and it felt amazing. I was so joyful because I started to get the kind of work I absolutely loved. I was working with people I really connected with and, and life became a joy. But marketing always felt tricky. And then about three years ago, I met Bev Glick and she was a storytelling expert and former rock music journalist. And I met her and thought, aha, storytelling. I just had this hunch that storytelling was the key that was gonna help me learn to love marketing instead of always feeling resistant to it. Um, so Bev and I started work together. We ran a PR course for creative people. We started writing a whole load of material. We came up with an archetypes quiz to help people think about how to um, come up with a brand for themselves. So we, we developed a body of work specifically for creative people. And I have to say, marketing has become a lot easier for me since learning the art of storytelling. And I have seen my clients and people who've worked with us, their careers have absolutely taken off. We've helped people to get, you know, um, really, really great coverage in the press. We've helped people to, to get really, really great clients. And it's a joy to see people learning this skill and getting really good at it and then sort of having a much more fulfilling career. So it's for people like you, if you 
run a business, run a creative business, maybe you're a photographer or a graphic designer, maybe you're a musician or, or you um, do work that um, you and you don't really enjoy the marketing side, it's absolutely for you because we our goal is to help creative people not only get work they absolutely love but actually learn to talk about their work and get really good at talk about their, talking about their work in a way that's really meaningful. So that's what we'll be talking about on Thursday. I hope you can make it and as I say if you can't make it live just sign up anyway because you can get a recording afterwards but if you're there live it will be great to meet you. So um, see you on Thursday. I'll put the link below this blog. Bye for now.